you know you're from Philadelphia when those South Philly style pretzels were literally offered to you every day in elementary school. I was so shocked when I found out that that is not normal. After lunch in elementary school, once you hit that corner, there was a table of Dunkin' Donuts and a huge table of Philadelphia pretzels with the toppings. You will always have the choices of mustard or cheese Whiz. Then you could go over to the Dunkin' Donuts table. And you guys, I'm talking about elementary school. I'm talking about grades one through five. And then when I got to college, that was like in our gift shop. It's at every gas station. It's at convenience stores. I don't know where they came from, but they were really style. They were amazing. They were big and plump. Oh, yeasty, glossy. When you're literally surrounded by pretzels, it is normal for you to do various things with them. We will oftentimes slice them in half, grill them in some butter, make a sandwich out of them. There is a Philly pretzel factory not too far away from me. And I felt like a pretzel sandwich. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to make a very simple pretzel breakfast sandwich. Literally eggs, okay, literally cheese. That is good eating. So foodies, if you have not done so yet, I'm gonna need y'all to subscribe to this channel and press on the notification bell. Let's get started. Now the first thing that we need to do for our sandwich, we of course have to grill our pretzel a little bit. So let's get some butter in a small pan, get that melted and pull out that pretzel. Here it is. Super gorgeous. My favorite, favorite, favorite ones you can't even see through. There's really no hole. There's just a slit of where the hole should be. Those are my faves. But I'm going to slice this in half long ways. So that now we have two halves of a pretzel. We're going to put that down onto the pan and get that butter soaked and sopped up into that pretzel. Get some nice browning on it. And that is all. That's all that we're going to do for the pretzel. Okay, so we're going to put that off to the side and literally just make our eggs. Now, you can get super creative. My favorite cheeses for a pretzel sandwich in particular would be Cooper Sharp or Cheddar. Now, of course, I'm talking about a sandwich. If I'm just doing like a normal thing, it's just going to be Cheese Whiz every time. I'm not a mustard person. I don't care for mustard. It's going to be Cheese Whiz. Now, I'm kind of doing this like omelet style. Pretty much it is omelet style. So I have just two scrambled eggs in a pan with that butter that was left over. A little bit of salt and pepper. Please feel free to go as crazy as you would like with your eggs. I just had a taste for it very, very simple egg sandwich literally American cheese okay and I'm going to fold this French style so that it is three ways and it fits perfectly onto my pretzel you guys like literally I'm just making an egg and cheese pretzel sandwich because that is like a really good breakfast now if I can't go to a random gas station and find the pretzels that I truly, truly, truly love. If you've ever been to a Wawa and you see those pretzels with the cookies at the checkout line, yeah, those. Isn't that gorgeous? Super simple, really good. You could put some pancetta on there, you could put some bacon, anything. It's a pretzel sandwich. Enjoy. And don't forget the cheese sauce. Don't forget the cheese sauce. Once you reheat it, it almost goes back to like how it was when it came out of the oven. So soft. You can taste that bacon soda flavor. It's crunchy on the outside. It doesn't get much better than a pretzel sandwich. How do you like your pretzels? What do you do with your pretzels when you get them? Now, if you know about pretzels, then you have to know about water ice. When you go to like Rita's and get your water ice, you have to break off the pieces and dip it in your water ice. <laughs> that is summer. That is summer in a nutshell. Summer, 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 summer. Yeah. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And please don't forget to subscribe. I need y'all because I need to get this channel together. We are not letting this channel fall by the wayside. I refuse. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, foodies.